Hello friends. <coughs> Our today's lab is regarding PHCP relay. In this lab, we will learn how to configure a DHCP relay on a router. Here we have uh, a, a router with uh, two lens, which is and each lens which has its own uh, two different networks. In this app, we will configure a router. Uh, this router as DHCP server, and we will configure this router as DHCP relay. Let's start our lab here. We have on LAN one a switch. We will configure two VLANs on it. System view host name is LAN one VLAN ten and VLAN twenty. We will assign the first port of the switch to VLAN 10. Interface gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 1 port link type access port access VLAN 10 and port 2. We will assign port 2 uh, with VLAN 20. Interface gigabit one slash zero slash two port link type access port access VLAN twenty interface gigabit slash zero slash forty eight which will be the trunk port port link type trunk port trunk permit vlan 10 and 20 configuration of the switch is complete here now we will configure second switch system view host name LAN 2, VLAN 30, and VLAN 40. Interface gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 1, port link type access, port access VLAN 30. Interface gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 2, port link type access, port Access VLAN 40 interface gigabit slash 0 slash 48 port link type trunk port trunk permit VLAN 30 and 40. Done on second switch. Now we will configure our uh, router of site A. 0 slash 0 is connected with LAN 1 and 0 slash 1 is connected with LAN 2. Control C. This system view host name site A. Interface gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 10. VLAN type dot one q and VLAN ID is ten IP address one nine two one six eight ten dot subnet mask is this interface gigabit zero slash zero dot twenty VLAN type dot one q VID twenty IP address is 192.168.20.1 network is 255.255.255.0 interface gigabit 0 slash 1.30 
VLAN type is dot one q VID is thirty and IP address is one nine two one six eight thirty dot one subnet mask interface gigabit zero uh, one slash zero slash one dot forty dot forty VNN type dot one q vid ip address two one six eight forty dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero and now interface gigabit zero slash two address one dot one dot one dot one subnet mark this here we will configure OSPF or communication between the networks area zero network one dot one dot one dot file card mask this network 192.168.10.0 dot zero file card mask network 192.168.20.0 dot zero and file card mask network one nine two one six eight thirty dot zero with file card mask network two eight forty dot zero with file card mask and now we will enable DHCP switch. Similarly, we will configure our last device here. System view host name DHCP server. Okay. Here interface interface gigabit zero slash two IP address will be one dot one dot one two two five five two five five two five five dot zero DHCP enable OSPF one area network linked interface gigabit zero slash two EHCPs select. Server. Then save. Now we will configure DHCP pools. Server IP pool A net network is one nine two one six eight. 10.0 with mask 25255. Gateway list will be 192.18.10. And address range is 192.168.10.1021.192.168.10.0. DHCP server IP pool B e. network one nine two one six eight D dot zero with mark sorry two five five two five five dot 
gateway list one nine two one six three dot one address range is one nine two one six eight twenty dot one oh one two one nine two one six eight twenty dot one fifty DHCP server IP pool E network one nine two one six three dot zero with mark two five five two five five dot zero gateway list one nine two one six eight thirty dot one and Address range is one nine two six eight thirty dot one over two one nine eight thirty dot one fifty DHCP server IP pool T net network nine two one six eight forty dot zero with mask Two five five two five five two zero gateway list one nine two one six eight one address range nine two one six eight forty dot one oh one two eight forty dot one fifty all the DHCP pools have been defined on this server now now we will configure our HCP client interface gigabit 90.10 DHCP select delay DHCP relay Enable DHCP relay info strategy recall replace DHCP relay. Server address will be the address of this interface 1.1.1.2 1.1.1.2 done now interface gigabit zero slash zero dot twenty dhcp let relay dhcp lane for well dhcp relay info strategy replace dhcp relay Server address one dot one dot one dot two interface gigabit zero slash one slash thirty DHCP select relay DHCP relay info enable DHCP relay info strategy replace DHCP relay server address 1.1.1.2 now interface gigabit 0 slash 1 dot 40 DHCP select relay DHCP relay info enable DHCP relay info strategy replace DHCP relay server address 1.1.2 one dot one dot if now let us configure our end terminals we will configure them for DHCP. Okay, let me enable Wireshark here as well. Okay, 
के एबल डीएचसीपी आए कंफिक एनेबल डीएचसीपी now let's check what's going on here you can see the door presses here for our first client 10.1. and uh, for our first client discover offer request acknowledge For our second client, you can see the same process. Discover, offer, request, acknowledge. Second client has obtained the IP address of 20.101. And similarly, our third user has obtained the IP address of 30.101. And fourth one is also only users have been assigned the IP address of their respective network from this PHCP server. You can see the IP address here. Similarly, here. This is friend how you can configure DHCP relay on H3C and PE switches and routers. I hope you have understood the uh, uh, main uh, uh, task that we performed in this lab. If you have any query regarding this, Lamb, you can ask me in comments. Thank you.